I have spider mites, and I hate them. Lee here, and this is Phytocelius persimilis. These are beneficial bugs, and I can release them into my condo. If you've ever had an infestation of spider mites, you know it can be the bane of any plant parent. Spider mites eat plant tissue and sap, slowly killing your plants. If your plants are mysteriously dying and are covered in fine webbing, you've probably got yourself an infestation. One of the most frustrating things about spider mites is you have to kill almost every single one on a plant to get rid of them permanently. This might take weeks of spraying pesticides that could damage your plant. This is a $2 palm plant that I got from Home Depot. I finally cleared it of spider mites using insecticidal soap. I bought this plant one whole year ago and it's only starting to recover now. Once spider mites start to take hold, you'll typically notice yellowing or browning spot marks on some parts around the outside of the leaves. Now there are natural ways of killing spider mites like mixing water, rubbing alcohol and dish soap into a spray bottle and then using a paintbrush to get on and in between the leaves and the petiole. But is this going to work on a plant like this? No. I don't think so. I'm going to go through every single one of my plants and apply these bugs. It comes with vermiculite in the bottle as a medium for the bugs to live in. You should apply these bugs as soon as you get them. The adult and larval stages can eat up to 9 spider mites a day and once their food supply ends they will die off. Hopefully this ends my spider mite problem for good. Thanks for watching and remember the only one who gets to kill my plants is me.